Loki, the so-called god of mischief, is a very important character in Norse Germanic mythology and represented concepts such as evil or mischief or being the god of lies and also chaos which the Asir represented the defense against in this nine world cosmology. Loki is technically a Jotun, a race of giants who are represented as a different realm within the nine worlds that the Norse mythology speaks of. And this is a story that is told to, to us through Norse or Germanic mythology, primarily through the Prose Eddas, but other mythological books from that region. And Loki is the embodiment of ill intent in the Norse mythology. He plays the role of a trickster, but becomes a much deadlier figure as his history progresses. He is the sire of several entities who are hostile to the Asir Empire and would play major roles in the telling of their end times. He is the son of the defeated Jotun king, and as mythology tells in those times, fallen kings would often surrender their sons. So this is perhaps how Loki falls into the hands of Odin, but however he does, he is raised as Odin's son in the kingdom of Asgard, alongside his his own begotten son Thor, who was destined to be the, the god of thunder. And although the two were raised, they would always play uh, an adversarial role to one another. Among his misdeeds, he causes the death of Odin's beloved son, Baldur, who was killed by a mistletoe, the one creature in all of creation that had not taken an oath to never kill the beloved god. He steals the golden locks of Thor's beloved and promised wife Sif, and only to be forced to replace it with a magical head of hair. But more importantly, he pairs with the giantess Angraboda, who was called the bringer of grief, and he fathers first the Fenrir wolf. And this wolf, who was himself a demon, is prophesied to devour the Allfather Odin at the end of Ragnarok. They would also produce the Midgar serpent who would kill and ultimately be killed by Thor in their last battle. And most importantly, he would father Hela, who would be the tip of the spear for the forces of chaos, invading Asgard and thus all the nine realms in existence. And Loki would tell of himself, because at the end of times, he would align himself with the forces of evil. He would not stand with the Asgardian, so he reveals who he ultimately is, and why the Asgardians kept Loki so close is still a mystery, perhaps because he was only filling his role in an already written story that would show the rise of a kingdom under Odin and his brothers Vili and V, and be told through mythologies of Thor and his exploits in the Nine Realms, and ultimately end with the great apocalyptic Ragnarok. Through Loki's association with mischief, lies, and chaos particularly, we can draw, draw associations to other deities and other pantheons and compare his role to that of Satan and possibly Set with his horn visage. Thank you again for stopping at Nine World Chronicles as we explore some of these connections. And as always, we ask that you like and subscribe.